It is April 16, 2022. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the uh, Orleans Hotel Casino for Viva Las Vegas 25. And uh, we're here for the car show, which they do on Saturday. Lots of great cars here. It actually opens to the general public in a couple hours. I was able to get in early because I got a press pass. So I'm fancy like that. But we're going to go check out what's here before the crowds arrive, before you know the bands go on, uh, so we can really enjoy the cars and bring them to you guys at home. So without further ado, let's go Go check this one out so this really is a great event it is kind of windy it's already uh, picking up according to the weather service it's supposed to get really windy in about two hours so i'm gonna try to bring it to you as quickly as possible i do have the windsock on my mic which should uh, help take care of those problems obviously i can't bring you the bands due to copyright reasons uh, which they'll be performing later on and i guess this place fills up and they've got a whole parking area and it's it's a massive deal but if you like rockabilly music and you like cool vintage cars, this is definitely a great place to go on Easter weekend, uh, especially since a lot of towns, there's not a lot going on on Easter weekend car show wise. So I'll show you this uh, custom Cadillac. It's actually a four door. You can see the, the paint. I don't know if the metal flake's gonna come through. Sort of got a glitter flake going on there. And they actually do have you send in pictures of your car to get approved to uh, be in the car show ahead of time. And I'm sure it's, it's a very competitive process and a lot of people obviously want to bring their cars out here. A lot of people from all, pretty much all over the country. This guy's from Arizona. Here's one that actually is for sale, and of course, as I always say, check the date of the video before calling on any of these phone numbers. And maybe we can help them sell this cool Mercury. We actually had a guy comment on the Long Beach video from last week, said that uh, his El Camino that I showed that was actually very reasonably priced, uh, did sell uh, to a guy who saw it in the video. So. People do buy these. This one appears to have been from Arizona, so the owner of this car is brought out here from Arizona. I'll show you that number once again. Give you some of the details. So people have bought cars from my videos. But check those dates. Here's a very clean, original looking 57 uh, Ford Fairlane. With uh, the under dash Ford Air, two door post. Of course, in those days, air conditioning was not very common. It's parked next to another 57. This one's a two-door hardtop. a very patinaed uh, about a 57 Ford.
Chevy that's been taken down to bare metal and clear coated. There's a 57 Thunderbird. Still cleaning his uh, mercury. He's got the, the whole setup here. <laughs> you want to hear him talk? Yeah, we can hear Elvis talk. Let's hear Elvis talk. <laughs> Get the Elvis torso that talks. <laughs> and hopefully the mic will pick it up. There's a little bit of. I saw movies and I was a hero of the movie. So every dream that I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. All right, so there you go. The just work here. <laughs> Elvis wants to keep you going. Have a good time. I'm about ready to sing. Okay, I can't have the music on the video, but <laughs> I think the viewers get to get the uh, get the point there. Okay, from the singing and talking Elvis torso to a uh, '61 Cadillac with a uh, blower. a 1959 Edsel Ranger. I've had a few of these myself over the years. Alright, talk to you later. There's a Chevy Custom with the doorknobs and the grill. It's the Banksy edition. It comes with a uh, mini hot rod. How you doing? And this Pontiac is for sale. Looks like the guy's based out here in uh, Las Vegas. No price, just is making an offer. like it's CarMax approved. I'm sure they offered the guy about a few hundred dollars for it because that's how CarMax operates. <laughs> that is 56 Chevy. I don't know if you can tell, it's got yellow tinted glass complete the theme. Here's your American Graffiti Style 55. Nice 
custom shoebox Ford. pickup with a Studebaker V8 I think that's just the Chevy Studebaker valve covers <laughs> I just realized okay if anybody remembers some of the Studebakers came with Chevy motors just just to add to the confusion Got like uh, some Hope Depot stuff going on there for the windshield. Build them however you can. says it's called Mr. Ugly according to the license plate. It's like a 59 Mercury Voyager wagon. Of course this is a four door hard top wagon without the pillar in the middle. And these are very, very scarce these days. Not very many of these have survived. And it caused the wind deflectors in the back there. So definitely a rare sight. One of the vintage uh, travel decals right there. to this uh, Dodge wagon, complete with a, an Imperial Hemi, it's like a 57 Dodge, this is even a two-door wagon which is even more rare. see uh, nice Fleetwood this one is a 57 it's a really nice 58 for sale on Craigslist in LA right now for quite a bit of money but uh, it's always a treat to see these these Fleetwoods. Of course, with all the extra trim and stainless. And a '60 Pontiac Bonneville four-door flat top is for sale. Twelve thousand five hundred, and there's the information. It's a 702, which is a Las Vegas number. Complete with eight lug wheels. And of course, as the cool flat roof that they did on the uh, four door hard tops, GM did across the line in uh, 59 and 60. It's got a dealer plate from Nashville. to be like a well-kept original car too. And 
that is an interesting coupe is actually a Nash something very different from what you normally see it's more a little bit more of a modern style rod compared to a lot of the cars out here but still when do you ever see one clean uh, Chevy Suburban the wind is actually picking up so hopefully I can get through as much of this as possible before it gets pretty unbearable out here Sixty Cadillac purse. There's some of the detail in there. traditional rods this one has a Pasadena Roadster Club plaque that's cool of course that's where I'm from <laughs> so he's got an old timing uh, plaque there on the dash in there you can see it hopefully you can blow it up and see it in the video Just such a neat car Box. It's like they have their tent ready to set up. I don't think there's going to be a lot of tents setting up today due to the winds, though. A five window coupe complete with a uh, Thunderbird Y block in it with three carburetors. Show the dash. It's like it's out of a uh, early 50s Mercury, that dash. Looks like about a 61 Oldsmobile two door hardtop.
two box Ford Custom. Of course, a uh, 62 Galaxy convertible. According to the fender, this one's got the 390 FE in it. I used to drive a 62 Ford Country sedan many years ago. Pretty much daily. I don't know, I off and on dailyed it. So 53 olds. This one is a convertible. It's like uh, could use a new top. I have a 47 Dodge sedan with the visor. Enid uh, GMC pickup. Of course, I always have to show the vans, such as this first gen Econoline. It's like he does the landscaping business out of it. That should be my play, Matador. I got my, uh, my Matador is on the road. Most likely I will have it at Spring Fling next Saturday. The 74 Matador that I saved from being crushed. I'm probably gonna drive it all week this week just to make sure it's good. I have not yet taken it on the freeway yet, so. If not, I'll probably be at Spring Fling with my Pacer. So it will appear in a video hopefully soon. Check out this 55 Chevy Bel Air. Cadillac, 55. I 
believe I have seen this car in California at shows. Nice thing about doing these shows out of state or out of my area is I, I get to see a lot of cars that have not appeared in any of my videos. It's always nice. It's a very clean Buick. Of course, we saw that uh, flat top 60 Pontiac earlier. Well, here's a flat top 60 Cadillac. It's got a uh, metal flake roof. one is also a rare one. This is a 59 Ford two-door ranch wagon. Very scarce car. Of course I did sell my 59 Ford. I didn't sell it, actually I traded it to my friend Chuck out in Palm Springs. Since I had too many projects. So you got this Lincoln. <laughs> Actually, I passed these next two vehicles on I-15 coming up from LA. This uh, patinaed and clear coat Chevy C10. And this uh, Buick over here. Right into this Chevy. So he's got a modern uh, stick shift there, sticking out of the floor. Not sure if this is set down onto something else. That yeah, came out from Oklahoma. The vintage uh, water transfer decals. This uh, 62 Caddy. The trim there. <laughs> And 
1946 Oldsmobile. This 1955 Ford custom line two door post. Play this is a 49 Chevy. So you drove it from Washington State. So he hasn't washed it yet. <laughs> The 62 Chevy station wagon. This one is a Bel Air. Sort of a mid level wagon. There's a lot of ones like this. If you watch the Lowrider show video from, I'm not guessing about a month ago, a lot of neat uh, Impalas and Chevys and Lots of neat vehicles in that video. A 54 Chevy Bel Air sedan. We got the uh, Frenched in antenna with the tiki topper. Got this uh, big Chevy Apache 36 Dually. With a welding rig on the back. There's your tank. Got that big Lincoln welder. <laughs> I'm willing to bet it still works. So he's got his vice there. Mopar convertible. Actually, a chop top. A shot of the dash there. Another great Ford look wagon. This one's a, a nine passenger with the way back seat.
course the uh, cooler on the window. Got like an 80s Ford AM FM cassette in the dash. So in the 50s, Fords are very popular here. Mexico. Now we're back to the Buicks again. Chevy Biz came. This one came all the way from Texas. custom mercury here try to get you some of the detail Forty. Forty Mercury. Nineteen fifty seven Buick. 
two door sedan. These guys have their ice chest, and they haven't come out to set up their seating areas yet. To Chevy. Kaiser. Just love the windshields on these. Fifty-five Buick Century, four-door hardtop. On this for sale, and there's there's the information. No price. Local seven zero two Las Vegas number. So they are beginning to play some music. So the clips. Although I'd be keeping the clips short anyway, but <laughs> clips might actually get shorter than that, so we'll see. I do know there's like DJs all day today too here. Another reason why I wanted to get in here and start filming. So obviously with DJs, it's for sure gonna fly copyright if the clip is too long. Another uh, custom Mercury. So the French in CAD lights. the French and antenna with the eight ball and lake pipes fifty nine Edsel Villager. There's actually a couple of these here. Sixty-two Bel Air two-door post. There's a Buick nailhead powered hot rod. Check out that setup there for the carburetors. Ironically, I started filming on this side first, so I thought with the stage, this is where the music would be coming from. <laughs> it's actually coming from where I'm gonna still haven't shot yet, so we'll just have to work with that. Dodge Royal Lancer. 56.
It's like this one's got, looks like he set this one down on a Lincoln Town Car chassis. Which is very popular to do now to use a Ford Panther platform for, uh, you can see it's got the uh, Crown Victoria police wheels. So the body's been swapped over. Show this Mercury with the breeze away. custom paint work. Maybe you could look at the top there. This one. This one's a 63. on this one. Okay, with the uh, glitter on the roof theme. Spiders in the lace on the roof on this Thunderbird. This is actually another 59 Edsel Villager station wagon. And it's been modified into a two door sedan delivery. Which, of course, they did not make. 1959, or like they didn't have any factory sedan deliveries done book for Edsel. They did do a two door station wagon in '58 called a Roundup, but '59, all the wagons that Edsel put out were you know, the old Keystones. All the '59 uh, wagons were all uh, four door wagons, so this one has been heavily modified. I try to go a little bit faster since I've already been shooting about an hour, a little about an hour and a half or so, and I realize I have a lot of footage already. And probably in about a half an hour or so is when they're gonna have the DJ start.
clean 57 Bel Air. More roof glitter for you on this uh, 59 Chevy. As you can tell by this uh, car cover, this it, the wind gusts have actually kicked up even more. So hopefully my the sock I have on the microphone is working. When I shot the Moon Eye show at Irwindale a few months ago, it, it actually did a really nice job of of uh, taking care of the wind noise. Hopefully it's the same with this video. The Frankenford, the uh, GM Vortec V6. Very nice Studebaker. If you do like Studebakers, if you search on my channel and go far back enough, I filmed an entire show of nothing but Studebakers last year in Anaheim. So 61 Chrysler. Yeah, it's like the stage just started up their music, so... Actually, there's two different music sources going on, so even better. Another Studebaker. This one's a pickup. Not really sure why they're playing... Electric Avenue by Eddie Grant, which is probably the least rockabilly song I can think of. We have a look at this 55 Ford Crown Victoria. Seems like more like something they would play at Radwood. So they just turned the sound system up really loud and turned it back down. So I will be shooting everything much quickly now. Much quicklier? That's not even a word. Much quicker. There you go. And try to avoid the evil YouTube copyright people. Yeah. I gotta look under and see the fucking headlight because of the visor. Yeah. That's why I put holes in that sound just like that. They had a 1960 Ford Starliner. They don't go very far, very much. I used to have the Edsel version of this, the 60 Edsel Tudor hardtop. Which unfortunately I had to sell. I also had two Sunliners too, a 60 Sunliner convertibles many, many years ago. I always like the looks of the uh, 1960 Ford. Pull right into this Plymouth Cranbrook.
think they're doing their sound checks right now, so. Very interesting Mercury. Dodge short bed step side pickup. This one out, this uh, Chevy pickup. This one is almost, this is a work of art basically. Got the stacks. Not sure if it's got a uh, diesel in it. So I'm not even sure this video is really going to give this truck justice to all the detail on it. All the end of here. 63 Chevy. This one is for sale. 11,500, there's all your information. says, please move your car. You're in the fire lane. Still lots of amazing cars here to see. I, I think I'm about halfway through the show and I've shot probably about an hour of footage so far. So, so it's still lots to see. Just amazing cars here. Ford. I 
1924 Ford dump truck. This one is the TT. Got the uh, mechanism down there. <laughs> It's a hand crank. Show this Continental. Fifty-nine Buick. Play with the pipe organ speaker covers. Dodge Royal 55 to a hard top tritone. So it's pink, black, and white all in one car. This looks to be original paint as well. Actually, the roof has been repainted with a sparkle, but the rest of it looks to be original. It's a neat Ford wagon. This guy's got a vintage trailer, which are also very popular. I always like the vintage trailers. None of the vintage trailers so far I've seen have been opened up yet because the uh, owners haven't come over to show off the insides. I still need to see them. Very nice 40 Ford that is for sale. Uh, there's all your information. There's no price on it. Once again, keep in mind the date of the video. And we have sold cars from my videos before, so we have verified it. probably gonna have to shoot this here up to shoot one or two cars at a time because there's we're getting close to the stage Three Cadillac. couple minutes. Nice pair of 58 Chevys. 
building a station wagon. She got this Ford F1 with the uh, headers coming out the hood. Can't imagine that's very quiet. It's beautiful Pontiac Bonneville. It's a neat Chevy truck uh, gasser. Very, very cool. How about a 59 Buick convertible? Definitely not something you see every day. This is a neat one. It's even a 60 Olds convertible. Baker pickup. For some reason they're playing Alice's restaurant. It's not even Thanksgiving, so not sure what the DJ is thinking on that one. special Hudson Hornet interesting Chevy like I said the wind has become noticeably worse <laughs> so hopefully this mic is holding up well I think we're hitting the stage here right when they have the music turned down, so I don't think we have very many more minutes of that. As I said, they're about to let the general, I think they are actually letting the general public in now. But we still have a lot more to shoot, so stay tuned for more cars. This very lowered 54 Chevy. Bare metal with a clear coat. Dropped all the way to the floor. We're all into this 1960 Impala. through there. Okay, look at the lace work done on the top of this one.
We have some fans of the early Rivieras on the channel, so we'll bring you this one. It's got a very faint lace work there on the top. I don't know if it's going to come through in the shot. Very faint. There's like stuff flying now. Oh wow! I don't know if it, I don't know if you can see that in the shot. <laughs> yeah, that vendor's whole booth just blew over up there. I'm sure if you pause and go back, you can see it. <laughs> it's extremely windy out here. I'll show you this very nice coupe. I ever mentioned that I do check the weather reports before I go out and shoot these videos. <laughs> That's why I knew it was going to get really windy around 10 a.m. and it's around 10 a.m. So unfortunately the vendor lost their booth there. Hopefully they, there's not too much damage or things missing. A lot of these guys depend that on their livelihoods obviously. Not much we could do about Mother Nature. Okay. Good? Of course, we're going to have to show the Rambler. This is like the first AMC product <laughs> we have run across. I like the uh, dealer plaque from Baltimore there. Fifty-five sedan delivery. In June, they have the LA Roadster show at the Fairplex in Pomona, so I'm planning on going to that. Of course, that show draws a lot of really nice cars. You know what? That's fucked up. I was telling you, it's okay, like $1,500 for your spot. Share this Apache, complete with a little bit of a modern update there.
1932 Plymouth. Very clean 64 Galaxy. Sixty one Cadillac. Very clean Chevy. Here's something very interesting. It's a jalopy. Tape it in really well. 
Tape everything really well. <laughs> this one is for sale as well. No price, but there's most of the phone number. <laughs> You got a one in ten chance of getting the phone number right. <laughs> yes, folks, for sale ad placement is necessary for viewing of phone numbers. That's my public service announcement for today. This is Model A Speedster. This is Baker with the uh, leg shifter. This one's drawing a lot of attention. Not going to get in the middle of this photo shoot here, but uh, at least bring you the Mercury from afar. Size 56 Ford ranch wagon. So now we're getting a lot of the pinups coming out for their photo shoots. And yet another 59 Edsel Villager wagon. another 57 Ford. This one is towing a very, very vintage camper that is not open. window with the early Hemi.
pitch pitch you off. This one is an Essex Terraplane. Beers for twenty five thousand five tenths. That's a Bay Area number. Bring it to you quick since there's music right behind me. This is the first DeSoto we've seen today. Very nice fire dome. some more of these cars. Fortunately now all the people who are of their own sound systems are firing those up now. seen the Pontiac. Oh, we've seen a 60 Pontiac and a 60 Cadillac flat top. Here's a 59 Buick flat top. I'll try to get you this Imperial, but there's some music in the background, but hopefully the wind buffers it enough that it'll still clear. Check out this beautiful imperial. A nice 60 Plymouth, but unfortunately the music's right there, so I gotta walk away from it. coming through the hood there.
actually some movie cars here too, so we'll get to those at the end. There's Christine, the time machine, the monster coach, and a couple other movie cars over there, which I'll probably be hitting that on towards the end of the video. So stay tuned for those. There's Roadsters for sale. Uh, see the number? No price listed. It looks like a Bay Area number. San Francisco Bay Area. International uh, step van. Absolutely wild. When we first got married, we'd like go to the balls and sell it and shit.
Yeah, this 57 Fairlane. This one is for sale. There's your information. It's local here in Las Vegas. Hudson is for sale for twenty-five thousand. There's all your information. truck that's towing a Shasta trailer. Fortunately they don't have it open right now. I actually used to have one of these. I had a yellow and white one. Fortunately I sold it many years ago when I didn't have any room. About a 58 Edsel Citation. Complete with a Continental Kit. And a Mercury Sun Valley with the glass roof. You don't see a whole lot of very rare mercury. Got this first gen Ford Econoline. This Buick special and a fifty six Lincoln. This one is the Capri. I've actually got a 56 Premier myself that it was my father's. 
My dad always said it was his favorite car he ever owned. She got the wicked patina on this Packard. Munsters coach. Actually, uh, Butch Patrick from the Munsters is signing autographs today. Here's a good look at the Munsters coach. There's a uh, DeLorean time machine. From Back to the Future. More of something you'd see at Radwood than a Rockabilly car show, but here it is nonetheless. Of course, complete with the flux capacitor. To Aston Martin from one of the James Bond movies. Of course, we got this uh, 1958 Plymouth Fury, Christine. 
which Christine is actually on Netflix right now, so if you haven't watched it in a while, I did see that it was on Netflix. No, I haven't watched it in a while. I know they've got one of the original cars from the movie at the Peterson. I'm not sure if this is one of the original. There's a lot of clones floating around out there. This 1959 Cadillac limousine. All right. Hi, everybody. Sounds like they're getting ready to play Come some on, music. Come on, Vegas, not church. Hi, everybody. So let's get this shot finished. Right, so, hope everyone's phones are silent. I'm going to ring the bacon. Oh, yeah. And also, if you can't get Wow. So it ended up being cheaper to come for the week. All right. I have four. Ready? Yeah, that's a great one. And that's going to wrap things up here at Viva Las Vegas 2022. It's the 25th edition of this show. A great car show. I was very lucky. I was able to get in a little bit early so I could uh, get some of the shots for you guys. A big thanks to the promoters for getting me the uh, pressed wristband, uh, which really did help us out in getting this video out to you guys. So be sure to support this show uh, if you can make it out to one of the future ones. Next week we got Pomona Swap Meet. Uh, maybe bringing you also a uh, the Mopar Spring Fling. I'm not sure because the big day is Sunday and it's the same day as Pomona. As you know, I always shoot Pomona Swap Meet. Um, so for now, be sure to like, give us a subscribe, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.